Coming in here is that the Supreme Court uh, lays down new rules on the hearing of review petitions by death row convicts, says a three-judge bench will conduct an open court hearing in such cases. So far, reviews were heard in chambers. Now, what this does, uh, is it a fresh ray of hope for the eight death row convicts? Uh, we will find out from Meenakshi, who is now joining us on the phone. Meenakshi, with the Supreme Court deciding to hear an open court review petitions against capital punishment, what does this mean for the death row convicts? Well, yes, absolutely. This comes as uh, indeed a fresh ray of, uh, ray of hope uh, for all those convicts uh, who were already uh, given the capital punishment now, as opposed to earlier when they did not have any say in an in-chamber hearing, as was the protocol procedure that was followed, uh, because such review pleas were decided in chambers. Uh, the arguments hmm. that had been advanced on earlier occasions were the only arguments which uh, was uh, something that the judges had to consider. As opposed to that, they will get a new and a fresh opportunity to again uh, present their cases in open court before a three-judge bench this time. That is again per another pertinent point uh, which the Supreme Court has laid down just moments back. It will no longer be the usual two-judge bench which considers such pleas, but it will now be a three-judge bench specially constituted which will hear uh, a review petition in open court of all those convicts who have already been meted out the capital punishment. Very interestingly, this will uh, bring into its ambit uh, the likes of Yakub Memon, who will now have uh, new hopes of having his plea being reheard by the Supreme Court alongside the Red Fort attack case uh, convict.